What's up everyone, Edgar here with All One Solar Shine. So in today's video, you're gonna just follow me around a little bit. You're gonna see what I did today. It's definitely a little bit light, just because I'm doing a lot of recording for y'all. And then aside from that, I had a quote that I had to you know make some time for. And then I had a job that was a little bit out of the way, so I wasn't able to get too much into it just because I had some drive time. But it was still, all in all, it was still a good day. So stay tuned, you're definitely gonna see what my numbers are for today. Realistic numbers, N no, no fluff in it, no sugar coating. It's all about you guys, and this is all just for you. First job was at 10 a.m. So the job went really well. It was out there, like I said, in Apto. So it was kind of a lot of um, overcast from the ocean. So what that brings in a lot of algae. So those panels were covered in algae. It wasn't the worst case of algae that I've seen, but they definitely did have algae on them. That lichen, it just it, it does scrub off with the rotary brush, but it just takes maybe an extra pass just to get it all off. Overall, it was a good job. It was a mission, man. It was like an hour away. <laughs> How far do you travel? So it felt like an hour because of just all the winding turns and everything that we did, we did. but it was really just from, from Gilroy, it was about like 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So it wasn't too bad, but the problem with Gilroy is just, it has, like it just depends on where you're at, honestly, you know? If I'm stationed in San Jose, going to Aptos is probably like an hour, an hour and 10. But if you're stationed in Gilroy, going to Aptos is now only like 40 minutes, you know what I mean? So. It really just depends on, on where I'm at that day and what's going on. So I can travel to Santa Cruz, to Aptos. What I'll do is I'll just make sure I schedule either jobs in those areas, you know, Watsonville, Santa Cruz, Aptos, and then maybe end up in Gilroy or do half and half, half in Gilroy, half in Watsonville because it's only like 30 minutes from there. I saw you talking to the customer for a cool minute. What were you guys talking about? Yeah, so every new customer, I definitely want to make sure, you know, I set the relationship. Um, if it's a repeat customer, it'll kind of just be in and out, kind of like a landscaper, you know. When, when your gardener comes, um, he doesn't come and knock on your door and let you know he's here, let you know what he's going to do and talk about how, how you're doing. Like, no, he's in and out. Sometimes you don't even know he arrived, but he's gone. And he just leaves you a little note on the door saying, I was here, you know, leave me my check next time, whatever the case may be. A new customers, I don't really like to do that. I knock on the door, I present myself, you know, we just talk what about you know what he does what i do maybe talk about something that we see like in the yard that can relate to both of us for example that client he works at intel so we're just talking a little bit about intel and what he does and like i said just finding some other information to see what i could relate to um another client of mine he had a bunch of dogs he rescued dogs and i love dogs so we talk a little bit about dogs we talk a little bit about how he rescues them and things like that that way they can just get a little bit more trust in me and also just build that you know client relationship so that way they're just always repeating how much did you make that first job? Uh, that first job was 350. Not bad, man. Yeah. You did it quick too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. so what happens is that first job, it's one is the number of panels, two, the lichen, like I said, so you need to account for that being out there. It's nine out of 10 times, they're gonna have lichen buildup on it. Depending on how often they've cleaned their panel, just means more lichen buildup. Based on your experience, when somebody has you come out, is it like a guaranteed business? You know, not really, man. Especially when it comes when it comes to bird proofing. I when it comes to bird proofing, the reason why is it's a high ticket number. So I really need to educate the client and they really need to believe the urgency and believe the necessity of getting those birds out of there. All right. Birds make a mess, they're a big problem. They can cause damage to your roof, they can cause damage to your panels, they can cause fires. So you definitely want to get the birds out of there. And because he has a big system, it's definitely gonna be a big number. So some can get sticker shocked. Um, others can, you know, understand the urgency, understand the need, and you know, they have the budget for it. So it's really, I don't want to say half and half, but you know, it's, it's, it takes more to, to educate them as so that the way they understand, you know, they got to put the money down. Then next location. The next location, that was a good one. So that was a, that was a repeat client. I cleaned his panel six months ago. And uh, you know, the, like I said, for the first time, we definitely talked a lot of the, about a lot of things. He actually has a car. I like cars. I'm not a huge fan, but I like cars. And so we talked a little bit about the car. And so we just create that, you know, that rapport. And so that way he can definitely feel like, you know, I'm a friendly, approachable person. So that way, the next time I come, like today, you know, we already have that relationship. So just, how you doing? I'm here, I'm gonna get started. I'm done, I'm out. And uh, it was a good one. That one right there, it's a good size system as well. No bird proofing needed at all. They're right in the middle of San Jose. There's like, maybe not even birds around. And that one was, again, 350. All right, Edgar, last location? Yeah, last location for the day, man. What do we have in the works? 
Uh, just strictly solar panel cleaning. It's a new client, so uh, got the J Racing theme brush out. We're good to go. This one actually found me on Facebook, Facebook ads. So Facebook ads has been really popular, especially for solar panel cleaning because it sparks a curiosity in people, mm -hmm. right? As they're scrolling through their feed, and then once they see my ad, they're like, what? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know it existed. Mm. And then that, that's where I give them a call and I do my whole education. You ever try Instagram ads or Google ads? Well, Instagram and Facebook are the same thing. Yeah. So, so you know, I, I advertise on Facebook that goes on, on both feeds. Google, I did try them out last year. It, didn't, it wasn't a good thing. I'm willing to try them out again this time. It could have just been the manager that I had at the time. I don't know, but mm. you know, it's all about trying them out one more time. This last one is a first time customer, right? Yeah, and so with this one, um, I just finished right now. So I'm about to go talk talk to him. Just like I said, build that relationship, see what we have in common. That way he definitely remembers me. You know, you wanna make sure you leave a good impression just like everything else. You want that client to remember you, to remember your name, to remember your business name. That way when you call him in six months, I mean, it's not a surprise, like, what, who's this? Who, like, what do you want? This one right here, it's a good size system. I mean, it's not, nothing big, you know, but it's not small, it's just right in the middle. And I like this, this system a lot though, because it's, they're just two big squares. And so they're easy to get to, they're um, easy to clean. You know, when you have a big snake of panels all, all along the roof, you know, it's not hard, it just takes time. Cause you, you know, you really gotta maneuver around the, the roof and make sure the, the hoses don't get caught or anything like that. This one's just really nice. So this one right here was just 200 bucks. So I did have another job today, but um, you know, because I wanted to make sure I had time to provide this content for you guys, you know, I pushed it out uh, to Friday. So, but no worries, no big thing. You know, like I said, we've been doing real good. We definitely have a lot of, a lot in the pipeline. We have a lot of business going. We definitely always have room for more though. You know, you never want to turn down stuff. Not for nothing for this week, but we definitely do have availability for next week. How do you stay so busy? Cause you work almost every day, Edgar. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, this is a full-time thing. So it's taking that leap of faith to making sure that this is full-time, that I can bring, you know, food to the table, that I can provide the roof over my family and uh, making sure that we have what we need. So how you stay so busy is just boots on the ground, man. Getting getting out there. You, you want people to see your face. You want people to see your business. You want people to know who you are, what you do everywhere. Door knocking, Facebook ads, Google ads. You could try Angie's, you could try Yelp, Chambers of Commerce, YouTube. Yeah, thanks Ray, it's my boy Ray. So if you guys don't know, now you know. It's all about getting out there, you know, making sure people know who you are and, and what service you provide. So you guys can see from right there, I really did a breakdown of what I did today. So I, I had a, you know, some, some drive time today that really kind of killed me. I could have had another job, but I just, I had to really take into account that drive time. I had that quote that I, you know, I made sure I set time for. And these three jobs right here brought me a total of $900 today. Not a bad day at all. That's within the range of what my daily goal is. So, um, you know, as long as we're hitting those daily goals, we hit the weekly goals, the monthly goals, we're rocking and rolling, you know, we're growing, we're doing good. If you guys are in Santa Clara County, in Sacramento County, bits of Hoster, bits of Salinas, all these surrounding cities, definitely reach out, give me a call, send me a message. I wanna get you a quote and take care of your panels for you. Don't risk getting on the roof, you know, hurting yourself or causing an accident. Give me a call, I'll take care of it for you. Have a good one. Peace.